governments lie all the time. Well, not just the American government. It's just in the nature of governments. Well, they have to lie. And since they don't represent the people, and so since they act against the interests of the people, the only way they can hold power is if they lie to the people. people the truth they wouldn't last very long Slaves that was changing the nation The white man was a cannibal praying to Satan Hatred, contempt, or pity, or patronization That's the cornerstone, everything racism based in The African had a more advanced civilization Black was slave, master was white rationalization Fifty million dead, that's western civilization At first they appeared in the north And they were helpless in the face of superior force And all of them were chained together, they really was lost Racism isn't natural, it's merely divorce Before the slave trade, black was considered distasteful By the Oxford Dictionary, I found it disgraceful It's not a natural tendency to be bitter and hateful It's an actual enemy of the critical staple Slavery grew as the plantation system grew The reason for that's kinda easily traceable Society of helpless dependence was capable Of saying fuck a slave master, you and slavery too Seven slaves were put to death for murder and master Fear of slave revolt had them developing faster You a Catalina killer, an elegant bastard I would burn the white man while smelling the ashes From time to time, white man was part of the resistance White indentured servants wanted no part of the system King Philip's war showed that if people would listen That they could maybe break the complex chain of oppression Tyranny is tyranny, but that's a concession But the women, they was treated like that of possessions Black women had it work cause they was abused That's the white justification of Aryan blues The next move was to dominate the Mexican James Pope dominated them like they was next to Ken He sent Colonel Cross the lot of them and let them in Eleven days later his skull was crushed so message sent We take nothing by conquest, that was the mantra The military wasn't human, they were just monsters Henry David Thoreau refused to pay his taxes Announced the Mexican war and got locked in shackles The 20th century opened, anger re-emerged Reality of ordinary life was being heard Anarchists and feminists came from factory work Communists Socialism seemed to be rebirth War is the health of the state is what Bourne said And if you was born around that time you was born dead The espionage act had people confused Cause it was double talk and they didn't know how it be used Supposedly it was an act against spying Do boys know that that was bullshit and they was lying Charles Schenck was arrested in Philadelphia For printing and distributing leaflets cause they was helping you He was indicted, tried and then found guilty And spent six months in jail, don't that sound silly? Had his freedom taken away by his own nation But there's a lesson, do 
not submit to intimidation The act still exists today and this shit is real Supposedly Kennedy tried to have that shit appeal Eugene Debs did 10 years for no purpose He obstructed the recruiting and enlistment service The post office started taking mail privileges Of magazines who printed anti-war sentiments A socialist named Fairchild had it right He said that they could shoot me but they can't make me fight They sentenced him to a year in jail and that was reckless 65,000 men conscientious objectors They were sent to army bases to work there They were treated sadistically and were hurt there They were strangled with a hemp rope till they collapsed And officers punched their stomach and they lower back A garden hose was placed on their face with a nozzle About six inches from them so they couldn't swallow The war ended in 1918 The government was just trying to wipe the slate clean Hemingway wrote farewell to arms Dalton Trumbo wrote Johnny got his gun The war was over but they didn't learn a lesson Twin tactics of control, reform and repression The patriotic fervor of war had been invoked That's why the country that you live in is a fucking joke You cannot be neutral on a moving train This is a story about the lies that your teacher told you This is real actual factual No lies in the whole record If you don't believe me, look it up I'm trying to share the shit that I learned with y'all Do the knowledge Your government does not care about you The people in power do not care about you Understand that Power to the people Picking up where we left off. Dealing with sickness and disease and hunger, uh, that's fundamental. If you want to end terrorism, you have to stop being terrorists, which is what war is. They told you World War II was a people's war. Logic should have told them it was imperialist war. 18 million served in the armed forces. 10 million more overseas, that's enormous. 25 million workers paid for war bonds All of the wild people questioned why the war's on There was an undercurrent of reluctance There were underpublicized signs of resistance Hitler's Germany was unspeakable evil But let's discuss real quick what we did to people We opposed the Haitian Revolution We turned Guam, Puerto Rico, and Hawaii into institutions Pretended to help Cuba win freedom from Spain This country built on the blood of other people's pain Blacks was looking at anti-Semitism in Germany And saw the situation here was mirroring it perfectly We appeased Hitler all throughout the 30s Only years later we pretended we was worried Roosevelt was hesitant to be gritty And caused a resolution to be buried in committee The main interest was never to stop fascism But advance an imperial interest of that prism Roosevelt ain't care about oppression of the Jews The power was priority, I'm telling you the truth Hitler not the reason that we entered the land Roosevelt was mad that we got hit by Japan Historians will tell you he provoked that shit He told lies and attempts to sugarcoat that shit And 45 troops were jammed onto the Queen Mary The black was stole down in the depths of the same ferry See there's a parallel you have to understand That they wanted them to fight but wouldn't treat them like a man Industrial mobilization had a few divided The economic royalists denounced and derided The irony of victory was heavily a price The war ended, three million men wasn't strike It's no peace in the world of capitalism Nazi eugenics, economic rationalism 
The lesson was that war solved problems of control Regardless if it causes any problems for the soul The black revolt in the 50s came as a surprise It shouldn't have after we took so many of their lives You can't erase the memory of an oppressed people Reparation doesn't make it any less evil Some black folks joined the communist party Richard Wright spoke of disillusionment with the party The party was accused of exploiting black people Angelo Herndon felt everything was equal He was arrested and convicted for insurrection How the fuck it's insurrection? I call it dissension Gave him five years when all he wanted was protection There was other black men that made the same connection Benjamin Davis defended Herndon as a savior Then Paul Robeson, he only magnified the danger Harry Truman had to deal with the militant mode But how the fuck that gonna work when he erases his soul? In 54 they said they ended segregation Ten years later, no changes Revolt was always minutes away, about to bust Rosa Parks refused the black section of the bus The freedom riders were spreading across the nation And went to jail for marching and fighting discrimination FBI stood by, Justice Department stood by While civil rights workers were beaten, they just stood by Three civil rights workers, two black and one white Arrested in Philadelphia, Mississippi one night They were released, beaten with chains and shot to death There were arrests made, but it was not confessed The national government remained silent The president wouldn't defend blacks against violence Civil rights laws were passed, but they were fraud Equality was enforced, polio was ignored Martin Luther King's speech thrilled whoever heard it Five years later, he was targeted and murdered In 65, the watch riots burned into the street The black man would no longer turn to your cheek The Black Panther Party scared Nixon But that did nothing to change his position A new black consciousness was born and still alive And that came from the will to survive This is the part why we talk about Vietnam But me and Rugged Man, we already made this song By the 70s, distrust is spread across the nation Basic discontent, political alienation 55,000 died in a war of moral shame And then Watergate was added to the hall of pain The Watergate burglaries was rather complicated But in the end, mostly all of them exonerated Nixon had CIA and G. Gordon Liddy Lie about the Democratic National Committee But eventually they all All flipped on them and told the Senate that they had a lot of shit on them. After that, it was a swift and a sudden fall. Nixon resigned before they could impeach the ball. They got rid of Nixon, but they kept the system. His foreign policy still remains in position. Corporate interests still remained in position. His closest advisors remained in position. Vietnam, recession, and unrest all adds up to a motherfucking mess. After Watergate in Vietnam, there was a deep economic insecurity in this world of ours. Environmental deterioration took its toll. A cultural violence of broken families took its toll. Problems couldn't be solved without bold changes. But no major party candidates proposed changes. American political tradition held fast. Urban communities turning into hell fast. Black folks are bitterly disappointed with Carter. Opposed federal aid to poor people. Didn't bother Reagan got elected and he built Built the military up a trillion dollars later And his motherfucker dummy up He cut benefits for the poor to get the money up Social security disability went belly up Unemployment grew in the Reagan years 30 million people unemployed in the Reagan years Welfare became an object of attack Especially if you was Latino when you was black I'm just scratching the surface of what was wrong We'll pick the conversation up in the next song To be continued <laughs> You can't be neutral on the moving train I told y'all before You can't believe everything that your teacher tell you Who is your teacher? Your teacher just learned what they was taught How do you know what they was taught was correct? Y'all you know I mean? Dig into the real history of this country And the fact that it was built on blood Time. But for now, I'm just blessing y'all with this one A continuation of the first You can't be neutral on a moving train Pass the Enza Howard Zinn, thank you for teaching the people Rest in peace It's Pass the Enza, baby One of the things we might learn from history Is that the government's interests 
are not necessarily the same as ours. In fact, are rarely the same as ours. Because if you think the government's interests are the same as yours, then you think, well, if something is going wrong, it must be that they made a mistake because they really care about us. They don't care about us. The greatest beneficiary of Reagan years was corporations, wealthy businessmen and ministers of foreign nations. Bush promised that he would save the environment, signed the Clean Air Act and had the public bargain it. Two years after that, we see it is imprudence. The EPA allowed tons of hazardous pollutants. Little money was allocated for the enforcement. Contaminated drinking water everywhere was dormant. But business worries override the safety of the public. Ecological breakdowns and nobody would publish. When Reagan got elected and he finally took to office, he spent a quarter million dollars on his living quarters. He built the military even more and paid for it with cuts and benefits for the poor. He made 140 billion cuts in social programs. Human consequences wasn't justified to no man. He said that he still balanced the budget, but silly Leon T guaranteed that he wouldn't. The 80s were the triumph of upper class America, a sedency of the rich, the poor he would bury you. The gap between the rich and the poor grew dramatically. Black families were hit the hardest, be emphatically. Lack of resources and racial discrimination. Broken homes, drug addiction, incarceration. Instead of trying to help the people out of this position, politicians call for the building of more prisons. Reagan lied about Iran, lied in Nicaragua, lied about the Soviets, and lied about the Contras. He sold arms to Iran, and all of it was cited. But plausible denial is why he ain't get indicted. Ali Noor stood trial, the jury found him guilty. But he ain't do no time because the motherfucker's filthy. Reagan sent Marines into a crazy situation. 200 died in Lebanon cause it was dangerous After that he sent forces into Granada Congress was notified but not consulted, that's a horror What good are shows a force if you never use it? That's the way the Reagan mind worked and he abused it Why do people die in countries we invaded? So we can make it clear that violence was understated Reagan's raid on Libya? That was terrorism Bombs fell on a crowded city, 100 victims The Cold War? Let me relay you the facts the foreign policy just delayed the collapse The U.S. policy motivated by fear To justify the suppression of independent care The military budget was 280 billion Colin Powell said he wanna scare the world civilians In order to boost his popularity with voters Bush went to war with Iraq and hid the motives He abandoned sanctions and said it was for protection He only chose war cause the presidential elections who believed that we would liberate Kuwait when we invaded other countries every single week? You think that they could build a nuclear bomb? They was 10 years away from having nuclear bombs. Less than half of us favored military action. No blood for oil was the citizens' reaction. Officials lied about small bombs. American reporters were kept from the walls hung. Clinton got in and appointed people of color, but he abandoned them when they started working together. He spoke of a new government for a new century. Invoked Dr. King's name, compared their philosophy. Recalled Dr. King's dream of racial equality, but put more blacks in prison than anybody in history. Continued the military budget at Cold War levels. It doesn't matter the party, homie, they all devils. Approved the FBI attack on Koresh. Fire swept through the whole building, burning flesh. His crime bill got a lot of attention, but it emphasized punishment, not prevention. Persuade the voters he was tough on crime, but tougher is dumber when you give him double the time. Clinton removed welfare benefits from immigrants. Legal law illegal, most of y'all don't know the difference. Who did the free trade agreement really preserve? Why the number of prisoners double when Clinton served? Domination of the media was there to vaccinate. If God intended us to vote, he would've gave us candidates. Bush vs. Gore, that was your decision. Both support the death penalty and growth to prisons. NATO ran through, but the media denied it. He emphasized education, healthcare, environment. Half the country didn't even vote, and that's a sign. Appealing to class warfare that no one's buying. Gore received hundreds of thousands of more votes. Proof the electoral process is a joke. Bush took office and pushed tax cuts for the wealthy. Opposed environmental regulations for the money. Nine months into his presidency, 9-11. Immediately declared a war on terrorism. He said that they were Saudi, said it was the Taliban. Then he ordered the bombing of Afghanistan. You kill our civilians? We kill y'all civilians. How the fuck that makes 
sense when we all civilians Wartime presidents do wartime shit That's why wartime presidents can suck my dick there were minority voices that were criticizing war You can't match violence, but violence should be the law We stationed troops in Saudi on the holiest of shrines Military aid for occupying Palestine Killing innocent Arabs to come back to haunt us And stupid motherfuckers sit and wonder why they bomb us If you're like me, you have a lot of friends who are depressed A lot of friends who go around very gloomy Think the world is coming to an end you can understand people feeling depressed, you can understand people feeling desperate, because the truth is, we're faced with evil. There's an enormous number of people who care about the world and about the country, want to do something about it, and those numbers are going to grow, so long as people persist and don't give up.